Hey y'all, I'm back. Ah, uh, yes. One of the great frustrations of my of my current life. Uh, I am an F1 fan. Like a lot of people, I became an F1 fan. Like a lot of people in America. there's They've had a, a fan base, but not like they do since the pandemic. When everybody was stuck at home watching Netflix and got hooked on Drive to Survive on Netflix. If you have not seen it, I'd suggest you do so. You're likely going to become a Formula One fan if you do, because it is such a, there's so many characters, there's so much drama in the F1 world uh, that, you know, frankly, most of us didn't really ever know about. <laughs> and uh, so one of my frustrations is as a diecast collector that I couldn't find a full set of the F1 field. Even if even one car from each team, all 10 teams in any scale that was, you know, reasonably affordable. They make some very expensive, larger models. Even these Baraga ones aren't super cheap in the 143rd. Uh, a com the company Spark makes a, a higher end one than they're They're not cheap either. I would like for one of the diecast companies to just do a license deal with Formula One. And every season, let's put out at least one car from every team with the current car and the current livery. I've seen cars in smaller editions and more frivolous than that. So it doesn't make any sense. I picked these up and I believe they're the 2019 cars, the 2020 cars. Um, they're cool. They're very, they're very cool. Uh, it's just, you know, I want the McLaren. And I want this year's McLaren and I want last year's McLaren and I want, you know, the Haas car and I want the new Red Bull. And, you know, it's just it's a little frustrating. I love these Barago cars. Barago has always made beautiful models. And I have some 118 Barago models from way back, 25, 30 years ago um, that I cherish. They're great models and Barago does a great job. These are really cool Toys. I like the packaging. I like that they put the drivers, the driver team in the back. But, you know, let's do a full set every year with all of the cars, even in 164. Like, I'm curious why Hot Wheels hasn't done it. Johnny Lightning hasn't done it. Johnny Lightning is like, they're the licensing masters. I'm really surprised that uh, they haven't done so. So, you know, do you guys collect these? Um, I, I know there's a few more of them, but just kind of burnt on the idea that, uh, you know, I can't have all of them. So I bought these three. They, they go on my uh, on the shelf in front of my sim driving rig, which is another thing I got into because I got into Formula One. Um, I used to play Gran Turismo with a controller. And then during the pandemic, I, you know, I had to buy myself a, a wheel and pedals. And then that led to you know, a seat. And then over the last two years, I've upgraded to a direct drive, a direct drive system. And it's amazing. It's what I do with my free time. I played hockey all my life as a goalie. And, um, you know, I kind of aged out of that a little bit. So this is my new, this is my new hobby, collecting cars and sim racing. Um, yeah. Let me know if you guys have any answers on why we don't get a full set of cars every year even the barago ones would be something uh but yeah let me know if you guys if anybody out there has the information i'm sure somebody knows why this is youtube and there's an answer for about everything on youtube so hit me in the comments and let me know if you know why and uh let me know what you think of these cars and uh throw a prediction down for uh who you think is going to take the 2022 season is it going to be ferrari is it going to be red bull is Mercedes going to get themselves back in the fight? They are sticking, they're sticking in there as hard as it is with their new car. Uh, they're sticking in there and they're getting points, especially George Russell, who's really impressing. Um, yeah, let me think, let me know what you think of these three teams. Who do you think is going to top the 2022 season? I know I think it's probably going to be Red Bull, but it seems like it's Ferraris to lose, so... All right, guys, that's all I got for you now. Hit me in the comments and uh, like, subscribe, all that stuff. You know the routine. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you soon.
Peace.